That's right. So when we're going to do linear factorization, the main important thing, the reason why I could tell you that was wrong is because, nope, it's still wrong, because you want to write it as the product of all prime numbers. All right? So basically what we're going to be doing is um, So basically what we're going to do is we're going to write this as the product of all prime numbers. Now, the main important thing is, you know, obviously just trying to break this down into two numbers. So we can look at this and say, you know, how can I break down 54? And one way, could, one way we could break this down, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to separate this. We're just going to spread this out a little bit. All right. Now we can use the factor tree to help us provide our linear factorization. So 6, I can break down into 9 times 6. And then I can further break down 9 as 3 times 3 and 6 as 3 times 2. And therefore, you guys see, I cannot break down 3 anymore. Those are prime numbers. Now, for x to the fourth, I can break that down into x squared times x squared. And then I can break that down further into x times x and x times x. Then y squared, I can break down into y times y. So therefore, you guys can see now, if I write this as a product, as 3 times 3 times 3 times 2 times x times x times x times x times y times y. That is going to be your linear factorization of the number. It is the number written as a product 